Welcome to the VivoSense Complex Respiration Analysis Module video. The VivoSense Complex Respiration Analysis Software Module includes analysis tools that enable a user to maximize the utility of respiratory measurements. These tools are created for specific use with dual band, thoracic and abdominal plethysmographic sensors. The tools include the capability to appropriately calibrate respiratory data, visualize complex two-dimensional face space plots, and reveal detailed information about a subject's respiratory state as a function of time. Respiration is defined as the transport of oxygen from the outside air to the cells within tissues and the transport of carbon dioxide in the opposite direction. The respiratory system works in concert with the circulatory system to carry gases to and from the tissues. The image highlights some of the relevant respiratory physiology terminology. Accurate and reliable measurements of respiratory function are essential for assessing health, detecting and diagnosing disease, and assessing the efficacy and safety of a prescribed treatment. The complex respiration analysis module is intended for use with dual band plethysmography, such as respiratory inductance plethysmography or RIP. RIP is the gold standard for unobtrusive respiratory monitoring and has been used widely in clinical and research settings. A RIP sensor consists of a sinusoidal arrangement of electrical wires embedded in elastic cotton bands. A high frequency low voltage oscillating current is passed through the wires to generate a magnetic field needed to measure the self inductance of the coils, which is proportional to the cross sectional area surrounded by the band. No electrical currents are passed through the body. This measures the approximate amount of air moved by the respiratory system by measuring the expansion and contraction of both the rib cage and the abdominal compartments. Therefore, to accurately measure respiration volumes, RIP requires two bands, with one placed at the level of the thorax and the other at the level of the abdomen. VivoSense enables detailed analysis of complex respiration measures, timing and phase plots. The following chapters in this video will provide a guided tour of the user interface and features that make VivoSense intuitive and the perfect tool for analyzing complex respiratory data. We will start by describing the available calibration tools, qualitative diagnostic calibration and fixed volume calibration, take a tour of the respiratory data channels including respiratory measures and phase relationships between breathing compartments, create interactive 2D phase plots such as Konomid or flow volume loops with triggers using a few easy clicks, and finish by describing some of the complex respiratory analysis module layouts and exports. Measurement of respiration using dual band IP technology requires additional signal processing and analysis to wholly exploit the value of these measurements. It is important to appropriately calibrate these measurements and assign relative weightings for the contribution of each respiratory compartment. There are several possible methods for calibrating dual band respiratory measurements. VivoSense allows for the following types of calibration. VivoSense automatically applies a default calibration upon import of a data file. This calibration weights the AB and RC bands with equal unit weighting and scales the average volume over the entire duration of the session to 400 milliliters. Qualitative Diagnostic Calibration QDC, is used to weight the relative gains of each respiratory compartment and should be applied prior to any other calibrations. QDC calibrations may be applied automatically or manually. Fixed volume calibration, FVC, sets the overall gain of the volume signal so that the average breath volume over the calibration period is equal to an externally measured breath volume. This may be from a fixed volume bag or a spirometer. It is recommended to apply a FVC calibration following a QDC calibration. We have opened the VivoSense software and imported a hardware file for analysis. Before doing any further complex respiratory analysis, we should first calibrate the volume of the measurements accurately. The qualitative diagnostic calibration can be done automatically or manually using either the tidal volume waveform, minute ventilation, or inspiration volume channels. We can start by adding the tidal volume channel VT to the synchronized chart panel. 
In VivoSense, we can automatically determine the most appropriate 5 minute range for a QDC calibration and allow VivoSense to calibrate their compartment volumes appropriately. To do this, we go to the Session menu, Calibration, Respiration, and choose QDC Automatic. VivoSense will scan the waveform to determine the most suitable period of stable respiration over which to apply the calibration. Once the calibration is completed, the QDC summary dialog will appear with details of the calibration, including the K-ratio. The K-ratio represents the balance between respiration compartments. Press Yes to accept these values and VivoSense will add an annotation to the Annotation Manager displaying the range over which the QDC was performed. If for some reason we are not satisfied with the calibration, we can manually change or override the QDC K ratio by looking at the VT channel properties and modifying the K ratio here. If we are still not satisfied with our QDC calibration, we can reset the calibration by browsing to the session menu, calibration, respiration, reset QDC. We can now manually perform QDC calibration. This means that the user selects the region to apply the calibration versus this region being automatically chosen. On the VT channel, we use the left mouse click and drag across the range over which we want to do the calibration. We must select a range that includes a minimum of 16 breaths, otherwise VivoSense will warn us that calibration was not possible. From the resulting dialog menu, we choose Calibration, Respiration, QDC Calibration. VivoSense will calibrate over the range and show a dialog with the results of the calibration. Press Yes to accept. Note that we recommend a 5 minute period of stable respiration for application of QDC. Once we have completed a QDC calibration, we can do a fixed volume calibration. We need to add the inspiratory volume channel to the synchronized chart panel to do this. The fixed volume calibration can only be done on this channel. Let's add the inspiratory volume channel now. On this channel, using the left mouse button, we drag the range over which the fixed volume was measured. The default volume is 400 milliliters. However, if our external fixed volume calibration measured more or less than 400 milliliters, this may be edited in the fixed volume calibration dialog. We may also change the start time and duration for the calibration range here. Yeah. Press OK and a fixed volume calibration is performed over the selected range. An annotation is added to the annotation manager to identify the range of our calibration. The FV calibration can be reset by going to the Session menu, Calibration, Respiration, Reset, FVC. The Respiration data channels can be found under the Respiration menu in the Data Explorer. The Respiration channels are divided up into waveforms, markings, measures and trends as with all VivoSense data channels. Some of these data measures will only be available when dual band plethysmography data has been collected. Let's empty the synchronized chart, chart panel and view some of this data. One important measure in complex respiratory analysis is the phase angle. The phase angle shows how synchronized the rib cage and abdominal breathing compartments are. A phase angle of 0 degrees indicates perfect in phase movement, while a value of 180 degrees indicates completely out of phase movement between the two compartments. To visualize the phase angle better, we can view the RC ribcage and AB abdominal waveform channels alongside the phase angle that we have just placed in the synchronized chart panel. We will now overlay the AB and RC channels and change their colors so that we can see them better. Let's now center the graph so that we can see them overlaid. 
Phase angle area is an additional measure of phase angle that measures the area of the closed Kono Mead loop covering one breath cycle and is less sensitive than the phase angle measure to subtle variations. This measure is signed and may be used to assess whether the phase angle is positive, which means the rib cage leads, or negative, meaning the abdominal volume waveform leads the rib cage volume waveform. Respiratory timing channels allow us to view measures related to the timing of breathing, such as respiration rate and work of breathing. The TPF over TE timing is a time to reach peak expiratory tidal flow as a percentage of expiratory time. We can visualize this alongside our other complex respiratory measures in VivoSense synchronized chart panel. Now let's empty the chart panel and bring up our tidal volume and inspired tidal volume again. Dual band RIP and the VivoSense complex respiration analysis module also enables us to quickly create relevant 2D phase plots, which may assist us in identifying suitable breaths for analysis and provide an additional visualization tool to assess synchrony, possible pathology, and artifact. A phase plot is a visualization of one data channel versus another data channel within a given phase chart. Let's create a typical flow volume loop which is a common 2D phase plot to assess the presence of upper airway obstruction based on the shape of the loops in the plot in the complex respiratory analysis. To create a phase plot in VivoSense, right click anywhere on the synchronized chart panel, choose chart and then new phase chart. We see a dialog with all our data channels and are asked to select the Y axis channel. For our flow volume loop, we will select the DVT or tidal flow channel and press OK. We now select the x-axis channel to be our tidal volume VT. Finally, we are asked to select a trigger channel. The trigger channel is optional and when used, it triggers the range of data shown on the phase plot. The trigger channel is usually set to breath rate or some other channel with a regular cycle such as respiration rate or heart rate. Once we select the channel, we can also select the number of breaths or heart rate beats and the offset to be incorporated in each phase plot. Press OK to create the phase chart. Now as we move our mouse across the synchronized chart panel, we can see how our phase plot, in this case flow volume loop chart, is updated for each breath. These loops indicate that no airway obstruction is present, as they are all concave and not flattened. We can also quickly add an additional phase chart alongside the first one here. Four phase charts may be placed on the same row in the synchronized chart panel. This phase chart shows the Kono Mead plot. VivoSense makes it easy to view a number of preset complex respiratory layouts. Select the layout from the complex respiratory analysis layout here. To learn how to create your own layouts, view the Getting Started with VivoSense video on our website. Complex respiratory measures and basic statistics may also be exported using the Export Manager. You can create your own export configurations too using the Export Manager. To export complex respiratory data, we once again go to the Session menu, Export, Export Data. We select the appropriate complex respiratory analysis export configuration that we would like to export. Watch the Getting Started with VivoSense video for more details on the Export Manager and exports. Thank you for watching the VivoSense complex respiration analysis software demonstration video. Please contact us to find out more about VivoSense and other VivoNoetics products and services. And watch the Getting Started with VivoSense video to learn more about the VivoSense tools and user interface. The VivoNoetics team provides contract development services to build requested custom functionality into the VivoSense software. Please contact us with any of your development project requests. We enjoy hearing your questions or comments. 
and we look forward to talking with you.